Hello everyone, welcome to FO Golf Channel, the standard golf instructions. So today we're going to get into chipping. And as I mentioned last episode, we'll start to get into the all the releases of a chipping. Alright, and today we're going to dealing with what I call the number one chipping release. Now before we get started, uh, just so that way I don't confuse you guys. When you're talking about release now, remember energy first, impact later. So if you have energy, there got to be there's got to be a release. So I know a lot of you you say, hey, what is the difference between release and you know uh, a setup or you know setup is just setup. You know when you're talking about setup, you can talk about you know open stands, square stands, or sometimes even closed stands, right? And then you can talk about ball positions, ball in the forward of your stands, in the back of your stands, all right? And then, um, again, how much you put your weight. Now, ideally, when you're doing most chipping, you want to be make sure that your body weight is favoring your left side, okay? So, um, but today, the most important thing when you, again, when you do anything, there's got to be energy, and then there's got to be a release of that energy. So that's the reason why to understand the release is the most important, the first step, all right? So when you are chipping, how the club head move, moves through the ball, there's four different ways, okay? That's the reason why I call the four different releases. So today, we're going to get into number one. Okay, and in the future, like I say, we're going to talk about ball position setup. But those are just uh, playing ability, formality, right? But you have to understand releases. All right. So the number one release with FU Golf, we call the well. It's not really foreign. Some people call it, you know, and uh, they call it a wine glass or a dead hand. All right. So you. You, some other coaches would talk about this, use the same verbiage, wine glass, dead hand. Okay, so the idea is that when you are doing the number one release, there's zero hinge wrist movement. Okay, there's zero wrist movement and there's zero hand movement. Okay, all you're doing is really pretty much like a putting uh, stroke. Okay, so when you set up to the ball, all right, so today I'm going to use a little bit ball in the middle of the stands and I'm going to open my body a little bit. Now, obviously, the pin's over there because the camera, I'm going to shoot that way, okay, so I'm not really looking at the hole. All right, so, and when you're working on chipping, really use your pitching wedge or like a gab wedge, 52 degree or 54 degree, those are the best clubs to work on your chipping drills right so first of all I'm gonna set up and then I'm gonna have a little bit of what I call the open stance right and then I'm gonna move on my body way in the front as you can see right now the club is the shaft is leaning forward of the ball right now as you can see depending on the distance which is you know, we talked about how your core, your body rotational speed has to represent something to you. All right. So we're going to do one, what I call the dead hand release, the number one release. There's zero movement of the arms and the hands. All I'm doing is I'm just turning my body. Okay. As you can see, all I'm doing is I'm just turning my core and turn through. Now, the reason why you're supposed to put the weight in the front foot or the lead leg is because when you're dealing with very short distance obviously you're not going to need a lot of weight transfer body rotational movement right so you're not using that much club has speed or rotational speed from the body but you are still rotating with your core so we'll do it one more time again this is chipping with a dead hand release okay turning turning right okay there's zero movement of the arms in the club all right now what is wine glass wine glass just means you actually can set up a little bit square to the ball and 
you can lift the heel of the club up okay you can have a toe down and you can grip it like a putter okay right now I'm actually going to use a putting stroke all right and then as you can see right now my arms I'm gonna walk close to the camera as you can see right now it just purely looks like a putting stroke but as you can see right now also from the shaft to my arms it really just like a wine glass all right so I'm going to do a torso core rotational movement okay and that's how you chip and you can experience with toe down or you can experience with having the leading edge flat to the ground right but right now I'm going to use what I call the toe down all right so again there's zero hand movement or wrist movement or you're doing with the wine glass you don't have to you can but you don't have to have your way forward on your left foot all right I'm gonna do one right now nice and slow keep your hands nice and relaxed it's just like a putting stroke okay just like that there's very zero arm and hand motion all I'm doing is I'm turning my core okay I'm do one more okay this time I'm actually gonna chip a little bit further with this style of chipping okay let's do one more okay so that's how you practice and work on the wine glass release and the dead hand release uh, the reason why they're, they're, they're the exact same because even though you have a different setup but the release is the same because you have zero wrist movement okay that's the reason why I, I kind of put them together because that's the reason why I call the number one release means there's zero hand motion or motion right it's just different setup you have the forward setup or you have a wine glass setup okay all right so now now remember the distant control comes from your core internal golf understanding what your core what your rotational movement from your body represent to you based on the distance right now just so you know with each one of the release you can absolutely play around with ball position right you can definitely play around and see the ball forward or the ball back okay so just we're going to get into a lot more detail regarding the ball position but today I just want to show you I'm going to do a dead hand chipping release with the ball in the back of the stance okay now obviously the ball is going to go what very low okay even though I have a pitching wedge okay so but really practice on the release first the most important things recognize your core value all right it means what is your body is doing right and take your hands out of it and if you watch our previous episode if you feel like you're incurring a lot of hand-eye coordination again you can do it with what not looking at the ball and looking at the target okay so most important thing is you want to make sure you keep your hands nice and quiet okay arms not moving hands are not moving the only reason why they're moving is because what you're turning your core and your torso is turning okay I know a lot of you if you watch the video you say oh look oh look how much movement the arms are doing no all I'm doing is coming from what my core all right so hopefully you enjoy watching this video and let me know if you have any questions leave a comment or email me and on the next episode we're going to deal with number two release remember there's four different type of release means there's four different type of movement how the wedge how the golf club really you can chip with any clubs in your bag how the club head gets through the ball there's four different type of movement 
today we just talked about where there's zero movement but again even with zero movement there's still movement because why the club head is still getting through the ball right but there is no manipulation of your hands and the arms and your shoulders and that's the reason why a lot of times if you turn your shoulders if you tell yourself I'm turning your shoulders, that's incorrect also because if you're turning your shoulders, chance are you are already moving your arms. All right, so thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe to our channel. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.